Hello, my name is Aiden Shea, and this is my review of Sword Art Online 2. Now, let's start by talking about Sword Art Online 2's story. Sword Art Online 2 is an extension of the original Sword Art Online that came out in 2014. And Sword Art Online 2 is supposed to happen one year after the events of Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online 2 has three different story arcs. The first one is Gun Gale Online. In Gun Gale Online, Kirito is faced with a new challenge and a new game. And in this new game, a guy called Death Gun has the ability to kill players inside the game and in real life by using a specific pistol that allows him to do this. <clears throat> so, Kirito's mission is to hunt him down and stop him from killing any more people. The second arc is the Excalibur arc. The Excalibur arc is mostly filler, and all I can really say is Kirito goes on a quest for a new sword. The third arc is what I like to call Asuna's character development arc. Asuna is Kirito's girlfriend, and... During the third arc of Sword Art Online 2, she goes through a lot of character development and a lot of real life, <clears throat> a lot of real life impactual events occur in Sword Art Online 2's third arc, and this leads to the heavy tone of the series and the impactful, rememberable ending that I think a lot of people are going to be talking about throughout the years. But, I promise, no spoilers will be giving, given away. Personally, I think that all three arcs tie into a very good, very well-crafted storyline. I'm not exactly sure what the end result is, of the story is, but one thing could be said for sure. Even though there might not be a clear pathway through this story, the stories within Sword Art Online 2 are still very entertaining and should be taken seriously while watching this anime because, trust me, there is a lot of cliffhangers in this anime. And, I'll be for real. This anime is very good, even without a very clear-cut linear storyline. Now on to the next topic. One thing that everybody always talks about when talking about any animated show or anime is the animation. Now, Sword Art Online had very good animation. So does Sword Art Online 2. In fact, Sword Art Online 2 continues using the same animation techniques used in Sword Art Online. And this was a good thing. While Sword Art Online didn't have m as much of a good storyline as Sword Art Online 2, they both have about the same exact same... Uh, what's the word? Uh... Skill? No, not skill. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. They they do... They are about the at the same level. There we go. They're the same level of art design and animation. I don't know how else to put it. The animation in Sword Art Online 2 is just pretty damn good. So, yeah. Now let's talk about something that you probably thought I already talked about before. And... Nah, this is a little bit different. I think that story and storytelling are different. Yes, yes, they are different. Before you say that they're not, here it is. They are different. Storytelling is how the story is told. The story is 
what it is about. Now, let's see. Like I said before, there are three arcs to Sword Art Online 2. These arcs are very good. My favorite is obviously the one that has most impact to the story, aka the Gun Gale Online arc. I also liked the inclusion of the sidekick characters like Klein, not so much Silica, not really a huge Silica fan. But I really did like the inclusion of Lisbeth more. Really love Lisbeth's character. Always have, always will. Um, and the inclusion of a new character in Sinon. Sinon is a great character. And if anybody says different, well then, I don't know. They must not like Sinon for some reasons that I can explain, because I think she was a great character. Sinon is kind of like Kirito's sidekick in the Gun Gale Online arc, and she has a really nifty, or not nifty, nifty's not the right word, but a really cool backstory to her, too. And it's actually a very good way to tell, like, stories about, like, I don't know, confidence in oneself and not feeling like you've caused something bad, even if you have, or maybe self-forgiveness. And that's the word I'm looking for. It's a Sinan's backstory is a great story of how sometimes when we make mistakes, we just have to give her, forgive ourselves. Because there's nothing else we could have done in this situation. Plus, in the end, Sinon's decision, which I'm not going to say anything about, was probably a good one. Because she might have lost her life if she didn't take that, des take that decision. Or make that decision. Whichever one you prefer. Oh yes. And now, here it goes. I have to talk about the last story arc of Sword Art Online. Now, this one gets a little bit emotional with a character that I know as Yuki. See, in Sword Art Online 2, Asuna meets a character named Yuki, and she befriends her and the clan that she's in. Alright? That's all I'm gonna say, and well, in the end, Asuna and Yuki have a great relationship, and they get to take on a boss together. They do a boss raid together, they have a great relationship, it's a great friendship, and in the end, I think there's a little bit to, <clears throat> to real life here. I mean, there's a whole lot of relations to real life in this third arc of Sword Art Online. And also, I like to mention Asuna's mother, because that is another thing. Asuna goes through a struggle with her mother that a lot of people probably might understand. And I think that Asuna's struggle with her mother is actually one of the more real-life scenario-type deals that many people, in fact, I would say more people than many, like, Probably almost everybody goes through this type of struggle in their life. Maybe not the type of struggle that Asuna went through, but something similar. And I think that this, that Sora Online really takes the, uh, the whole, like, f trying to figure out what you're gonna do for your life after, you know, like, school and stuff to a whole different level with the whole thing where Asuna and her mother kind of fight together. But now I'm going to have to try to wrap this thing up soon. So here it goes. The final verdict. My final verdict, since you know this is my first ever review, I'm going to put it at a 10 out of 10 scale. So out of a... On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, because you have to specify nowadays, 
I think that Sword Art Online 2 is an 8.5. Now, why 8.5? Well, like I said before, there's definitely... Wait, did I say this before? Okay, here. You know it's an 8.5, but let me just get this off. The, out of the way before you all contradict me and say, oh, he didn't talk about the negatives before. But here I go, talking about the negatives of Sword Art Online. Now, even though I've already revealed the final score of an 8.5, I think that I forgot to address something very important, the negatives of this series. There's a few negatives of this series. One... It's a bit cheesy at times, but this has been a problem with the Sword Art Online series from the very beginning. And I'm talking about that bullcrap with the fish in the first series. That whole arc was just terrible. I did not like that point in the first series. But this isn't about Sword Art Online. This is about Sword Art Online 2. Let me tell you, the cheesiness is still in this series. It's just as bad. It's n maybe not as bad, actually, because there's less of it, but there's still cheesiness. Also, one thing I don't like about Sword Art Online 2, this may be a little bit weird to say this, but I did not like Kirito flirting with Sinon. I didn't. It was like, bro, you already have, like, how many girls in your harem? And you got Asuna, like, you didn't need to do all that. I don't know. I don't like the motif of, like, oh, look at Kirito. He gets all the girls or whatever. I don't like that motif. I don't know why. I just don't. I mean, Kirito is a nice guy, but... He needs to stick, he needs to pick one of these girls and just stick with her because that's the whole, that's the whole thing, man. I mean, like, in the end, he kind of, like, leans toward one side that I think the viewers saw coming. Not gonna give it away again, but of course you probably already know the answer. But those were the two things I didn't really like about Sword Art Online 2. That's why I'm giving it an 8.5, because, like everything, it's not perfect. I would never give anything a 10 out of 10. Ever. Mm -mm. Not even my favorite anime, which will get its own review eventually. But you now know that I like Sword Art Online 2. You should go watch it on Hulu for free not hulu plus hulu plus is for people that actually have money i'm in high school bro i don't have money to pay for hulu plus but yeah that's just me i mean like hey if you want to watch sort out online on hulu plus go for it but watching it on free hulu on your computer just as good Subbed, yes, but I don't think there's a dub version, so if you want to see the dub version, you might have to wait a while if there's ever going to be a dub version out, I don't know, but 8.5 out of 10, that's all I got, peace.